Okay. All right. Have you ever put one of these on? No, I never have. All right. Go ahead and, and show wide me and the, the device here. Go ahead and slide it on. Okay. There you go. Make sure this is nice back. Is there that you. a good fit? Or yeah. Is this supposed to be behind the ear or this one over here on this side is supposed to be on the ear, right? On the ear. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull the straps. Okay. Let me know if it's too tight. That's a little bit too tight too coming tight. off the top of the eyes. Okay. There we go. That, that's, that's a good fit perfect, right yeah. there? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and strap that on. Then I've got two straps on the side. I'm gonna pull. Tell me when that's good. feels good right there. Okay. And can you see everything visually? Um, yeah. Everything clear? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna give you the touch controllers now. Can you go ahead and uh, step this way? I'll just redirect you. A couple steps back. Okay. Back. There you go, that's good. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put this, this is your uh, okay. right hand. My right hand? There you go. I'm going to slide this over your hand for you. Thanks. All right, sorry. <laughs> sorry, hang on. Almost would seem easier to put the hands on first, <laughs> but it's an yeah. experience here. And go ahead. There you go. Um, go ahead and put your fingers out. Point your fingers for me. All right. Let's go ahead and put the middle finger down on the grip down here, a little bit lower. Go ahead and just go ahead and grip it. What feels natural there we for go. you? The index finger goes on the, Wait, the trigger finger up here. There this you one there? Yeah. Okay. And then you want to slide your middle finger down. Does that feel good for you? Yeah. All, All right. right. Hold on. There we go. Is that good? Yeah, I get the idea. All right. So oh, wait. There's the. Just want to make sure you know there's a trigger down here as well. Uh, there's another. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and slide the other controller around around for you, okay? Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, sorry, hang on. Hello? That's fine. Okay. The middle finger there? Not the other hand. He's still moving my other hand around. That's not me. And I see the blocks here. We've got like a little uh, uh, London Bridge kind of tower on the right and triangles and pyramids well, and he hexagons and cubes. Little gnomes over there on the left. There we go. Okay, so. And I got my fingers here. And so the lower fingers all work together. And the pointer finger, or index finger, separately. And the thumb separately. OK. Got it? Thumbs up? OK. Ah! Oh, very nice. So I'm basically in this three-dimensional world where I've got cubes, and this nice lady here, what's your name? Ann Daniel. Ann's here with me with her hands in the field of view where I can actually manipulate my pointer finger, my thumb, my lower fingers um, independently or do them all together. And there's a certain amount of touch where ultimately you can open your hand, grab an object, and pick it up move it, pass it to Anne, and she can take it from you. And you can try to catch them too, but you bump into a lot of things as you go. Oh, oh, let me see here. Ah! There you go. Oh, here's a big one. There we go. There we go. Looks like my hand's inside of a cube now. <laughs> um, let me see if I can take it apart from the middle here. Whoa, look at that. So I grabbed the middle of a tower, which was just sort of like a London Bridge piece, and I took the center out and all the other, uh, uh, all the other ones fell apart. And you can actually build. 
You can build things with it. Here we go. Yes, more building than destruction. And you can make some nice little uh, Lincoln Log, Tinker Toy kind of towers and see how long they stay. And uh, they're affected by gravity just the same. And then there's a little bouncing ball over here. So we can play tether ball. Yeah. Bonk. Oh, knock over the gnomes. Oh boy, those broken gnomes. <laughs> well, that ball's out of control. How do we stop it now? Oh, look at that. I caught it. Now we can leave. Well, we can probably. Ah! No! <laughs> That's not. <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Now, I probably look totally silly doing this, but there's a ball that I'm playing sort of almost like a volleyball game here, but the ball's on a tether. It's tether ball. For all those games little kids play, you got now adult tether ball in virtual reality. And you can uh, also build things. And ooh, that's a nice little black orb, whatever that is. OK. Oh, this is nice. So all the items are now floating. And it's interesting because the three-dimensional environment's uh, exhibiting gravity, and then it exhibits no gravity, right? So it's sort of a three-dimensional modeling. Do you use Maya with this, or is this an interactive Maya environment? Or OK. Ah, OK. Ping pong. Here I got a ball. Oh, I lost my, there we go. More right handed, so. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, went the other way. I think we lost the balls. <laughs> Here. See if this one, see if this actually works. Ah! I'm, so I'm actually taking little cubes. Oh. <coughs> Here we go. Nope. OK, go ahead. Let's go to the next room. I think the three-dimensional objects are probably the most interesting. This three-dimensional world you have is quite a fun little place to be. And oh, OK, slingshot. I'm right-handed. So the question is, there we go, here we go. There we go. Well, that's kind of cool. You've got a slingshot in my hand. My right hand's pulling this ball back. And if I release it in the right time, it actually flies forward. I kind of have to grab it with my hand. A new ball ends up appearing in it. And it's a little bit tweaky. There we go. Now I'm actually viewing it right through my eyes. And I can hit these moving top objects. Good. OK. Oh, the masks, OK. There we go. Cool. High five. <laughs> well, fist bump. That works easier. <laughs> OK. Oh, that wasn't a fun move ring. Ah. Whoop. Hey, that's right. I'm on a pad. I can't go too far. That's good. You're here. <laughs> oh. Now you've blown up the space. Ah, you've made me little. Interesting. I can't see my feet, though, but. 
Okay. Ah, and now I'm a little robot-sized guy. Very interesting. Bump, 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 bump. So now I'm all through that. Well, now we're back to. Very cool. There's a shrink device, huh? Okay. Whoa, now you're a little tiny people. And your voice changes too. That's kind of nice. Uh, take the gun and shoot you again. There we go. Wow, there we are. Mm hmm. Is this a puppet? No. Robot. <laughs> ah, there we are. There we go. Here's a puppet. I'm kind of twisted around, aren't I? There we go. Hello, hello, up. Oh. Here inside the puppet. Yeah, up. Oh. <laughs> you can't shoot out the light, but that's okay. So as a shooting gallery, it's an interesting concept. I thought it was interesting what the puppets did and how you can manipulate like the blocks and do funny things. Oh, now, and then there's controllers of other sorts. Oh, look at that. Ah. Got it. Uh-oh. Yes, this is a very interesting environment, and it's more than just watching a program. It's actually a 3D environment, which actually works very well with this. Yeah. Cool. And you're over in the other room, and I'm in this room. Well. Thank you. Nice playing. Thank you. Bye.